This is lesson 46 on um, handling radical expressions. Let's work uh, 46 1. Look at 46 1 on page 203. It's 3 times the square root of 2 over 7 minus 5 times the square root of 7 over 2 plus 3 times the square root of 56. We've worked these, but we have no equal signs, so immediately you should be thinking, I am going to find a common denominator. But I want to rationalize the denominator. So this can really be written times 2 times the square root of 3 times the square root of 2 over the square root of 7, right? Minus 5 times the square root of 7 over the square root of 2 plus, now let's look at factors of 56. Factors of 56 is what? 2 and 25, 6 is 7, 28. 28 is 2 times 14. And that's 2 times 7. Okay? So we can say this is really 3 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 7. Okay? Now I eliminate the radical in the denominator by multiplying by it over itself. Square root of 7 over the square root of 7. Do the same with the square root of 2 over the square root of 2. And here I can pull a 2 out. Okay? So now I have 3 times the square root of 2 times 7 over 7, because the square root of 7 times the square root of 7 is 7, minus 5 times the square root of 2 times 7 over 2, plus I'm going to pull my 2 out and multiply it by 3. That's 6 times the square root of 14. Now, I need a common denominator. So my common denominator is going to be 14. 7 times 2. So I must multiply um, every one by some term to get 14 in the denominator. So, and remember I must multiply by an effect of 1. So to get from 7 to 14, I multiply by 2 over 2, right? So 2 times 3 is 6, and I'm going to go ahead and write this as the square root of 14 minus. To get 2 to 14, I multiply by 7 over 7, okay? So 7 times 5 is 35, and I'll go ahead and write times the square root of 14. And I also must multiply this one by 14 over 14 to get 14 in the denominator. And 6 times 14 is 80, what is it, 84. So plus 84 times the square root of 14. Now I have the same radical, so I can add the coefficients before the radicals. So I can have 84 plus 6 minus 35 minus 35, okay? So 84 plus 6 is 90, minus 35 is 55. So now I can simplify this even further by saying my numerator is 55 times the square root of 14 over 14, and here is my simplified answer. The next part of the lesson has to do with um, double radicals. And we've learned this um, in an earlier lesson. But if I have the square root of 3, and under here I also have the square root of 3, it is assumed if there's no number in the radical that it is a 2. And you're going to start from the end from the, um, the radical under the radical first, from the inside out. So I can really write this as 3, and 3 is really raised to the 1 power, and really this is 3 to the 1 half, right? The numerator is what's under your radical, what it's raised to. Your denominator is what is in your square root, 
okay? Then we have 3 over the whole radical of 1 half. Again, this whole term is raised to the 1, and the denominator is 1 half, okay? Now we're going to apply our exponent rules, right? Let's, let's resolve what's in here first. This is really 3 times 3 to the 1 half, all of that raised to the 1 half. When I raise, um, and this is 1, when I raise an exponent to an exponent, I do what? Multiply them. So this is 3 and a half times 3, and 1 half times 1 half is 1 fourth, right? So now I have the same term, which is important, the same number 3, and I have two exponents, but I can still simplify further. When I multiply the same term with the exponents, what do you do with your exponents? You add them, don't you? But I can't add them because they don't have the same denominator. So, I must get the same denominator. One half is the same as two fourths, three, one fourth. Now I can combine them. The answer is three and three fourths. So, the first thing is you convert this and replace it with your exponents. Then you distribute the exponent to all of the terms by multiplying your exponents, okay? Then you have to find a common denominator for all the exponents, and then you add them. That is your steps, and you work from the inside out. Now, look at 46.4, a slightly more difficult. That one you should be able to do in your calculator. However, on 46.4, what do I do with x cubed y squared and the cube root of x, y? That's the cube root. This is assumed to be 2. Again, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the radicals with fractional exponents. Okay? So we'll leave x cubed y squared alone, and it's raised to the 1 half, because this is assumed to be raised to the first power. Numerator, denominator. You see it? Okay. Now we're going to replace this radical sign with a fractional exponent. Again, this is assumed to be raised to the first power. Numerator, denominator, 1 third. Now I'm going to distribute the exponents to each term. We do that when a power is raised to a power. According to our rule, we multiply. So x and 3 times 1 half is 3 halves. y is 2 over 2. You could have said 1, right? 2 times 1 half. x, both of these are 1. 1 times 1 third is 1 third for both of them. Okay? Now I'm going to look at my x variable. I need to find a common denominator between 2 and 3, and it's going to be 6, right? So 2 times 3 is 6, so I must multiply 3 times 3, and it's 9, okay? For this x, for the denominator to be 6, I must multiply it by 2 over 2, okay? For my y, same thing. My denominator is going to be 6. Um, Actually, I could have made that 3 because it's 1. There we go. We can make it 3. So I could make that 3 over 3, right? And y to the 1 third. Now I have a common denominator, and I can combine like terms by adding the exponents. So 9 plus 2 is 11 sixths. y is going to be 4 thirds. Okay? Let's look at um, 46, 5. I'm going to work several of these. Uh, this is the cube root of x to the fifth y cubed the fourth root of x fourth root of x y to the fifth. So I'm going to convert my radical signs 
to uh, fractional, um, fractional exponents. X to the fifth, Y to the third, and my exponent is one third. See where I'm getting that? And this is X, Y to the fifth, to the one fourth. I will distribute my exponent by multiplying. Five times one third is five thirds. Three times one third is Y to the first. I'm gonna go ahead and do it to the first. X to the one fourth. And that's why five times one fourth is five fourths. Now I need a common denominator. The common denominator for our exponent here is going to be 12. Okay, three times four is 12, so I must multiply four times five, and that's 20. Three times, four times three is 12, so I must multiply the numerator by four. By three. Okay. Why? I can just make this four over four and then I have a common denominator. Now I can combine my exponents by adding them and the answer is x 23 to the 12th, y 9 to the 4th. Okay. Now I want to work one more problem. If, um, let's do number nine on page 205. So I have the cube root of six, square root of six. So I'm going to start with the six, and the six is raised to the one half. Right? And the whole term is raised to the one third, right? This whole thing is one, okay? Now I, because I have the same root, I can raise each one of these um, to, this is like six to the first, okay? So six to the first times six to the third is six to the third, right? Six to the half times six to the third is one six. Now I must find a common denominator. It is six. Two times three is six, so that's two six and one six, and the answer is six and three six, or six and a half, okay? All right, let's try one more. Number 11. Number 11 says the fourth root of x to the fifth, y to the third, times the cube root of x, y to the fifth. I'm going to change my radicals, exchange them with uh, fractional exponents, x, y to the fifth, to the one third. Distribute my exponent, that's x to the 5 fourths, y to the 3 fourths, by multiplying 5 times a fourth, 3 times a fourth, okay? x to the 1 third, y to the 5 thirds. I look at my x's, and the common factor is going to be 12, okay? I must multiply this one by 3 over 3, so that's 15 over 12, okay? I must multiply this one by 4 over 4, and it's 4 twelfths. My y's are also going to have a common denominator of 12. I must multiply 4 times 3 to get to 12, so 3 times 3 is 9. I must multiply this one by 4 over 4, so 4 times 5 is 20. Now I combine my like terms by adding my, numerate, my exponents. 19 over 12, y, 29 over 12. And that's your answer.